So it's Wednesday morning, I have a crazy day at work. Um, I was up until late last night working on a proposal for a fantastic business opportunity. And even though I was exhausted, the just the excitement of the opportunity like kept me awake and gave me, I guess, the motivation to just make sure I got the proposal out in time. Anyway, today is manic. I've got like, I think I've got some media stuff with Channel 7. I've got client meetings. I need to make sure I get to the gym. Um, and I've also got another um, proposal this morning. So lots of exciting opportunities manifesting around me. Also, on that point about Airbnb, oh, not Airbnb, sorry, eBay, um, I, I think it was a little bit one of the reasons why I procrastinated listing all the stuff on Gumtree and eBay and um, like online was that I was, I think I was a part of it, it was a little bit insecure that it wouldn't, st my stuff wouldn't sell. Anyway, I'd say probably about 70% of that stuff is already sold. And I'm so, every time I get like a notification on eBay that someone's like bid on my stuff, it feels really good. It feels really exciting. So um, I, tonight, if I have the energy after my crazy day, I'm going to see if I can find a few more things that I can put online. And um, also with this proposal um, that I put together last night, if the job's accepted, um, it's going to take up about four weekends um, for the, basically for the month of April, but I'm going to ask them to prepay some of that work. So I'll hopefully be able to put, if this job does come off, I'll be able to put some of that money towards my manifesting, um, March challenge. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. All right. I haven't actually gotten around to listing, um, some more things on like eBay and gum sell and buy, sell, swap for Facebook groups. And I realized it's because I had like a bit of a um, psychological block. I kept on thinking to myself, well, telling myself, well, if I sell this stuff on, on eBay and online, I won't have anything left to sell. And how am I going to make more money? Well, then I realized if I said that to myself when I first started the thousand dollar project, I would never be where I am today. And I found by doing like decluttering my home, every time I decluttered, I found another layer to declutter and another layer to declutter. So I've decided like, that's a lot of crap if I'm going to tell myself this. I need to sell some extra stuff. It will be okay to do it. I have just been to the gym. I did 40 minutes of running non-stop. I was tempted to stop and I wanted to stop so many times, but I kept going and I feel good. I popped home to have some quick lunch so I don't waste money um, on food in a cafe. And I had a really interesting phone call with someone and they were kind of a bit like mocking of the thousand dollar project and and saying, you know, as if you'd do that for like only a thousand dollars. And I was like, well, yes, I would. And I did. And it's not just for thousand dollars. I did it repeatedly and end up with 32,000. And then I did it again and end up with another 36,000. And they were kind of like, oh, that's so embarrassing. I would never do that. Like, and they were very entitled and um, quite arrogant. And um, as it turned out, they actually are in a bit of a financial a dilemma themselves and they have no money and um, it just kind of made me realize there is nothing below you when it comes to like work and hustling and earning some extra money and you know good old-fashioned hard workers and dedication is how I've gotten and working on like small little jobs for small amounts of money has made me really humble and it's made me really appreciate things so much more so, you know, it was just a bit of a, it was, it was a little bit confronting and a little bit disappointing hearing this attitude, but it's made me realize hearing that and how opposite I am to that is made me realize how far I've come personally um, in my own personal growth from doing a thousand dollar project. All right, I'm starving after my 40 minute run. I'm going to keep eating my lunch and I will report back soon. All right, tonight, whilst Rocco is fast asleep, I'm going to jump online and do some market research surveys. Now, this is a great way of rustling up some cash without actually having to leave the house. So if you've got young children and don't want to pay for a babysitter or for whatever reason you, you don't like leaving the house or can't leave the house, um, it's a great way of making some extra money in your life. Now, people always ask me, like, where do you find this work? Well, the trick is to just register online. Google market research agencies or online sur su surveys or um, paid surveys, and you will find a whole range of them um, to register with. And obviously, be careful. Like, use common sense. Make sure it's worth your time. Um, but obviously, be humble and don't be self-entitled. 
um, and you know enjoy the process um, I've met interesting people I've learned about interesting products and services and I've also learned a lot about marketing it's been really interesting and um, it's had a lot of I guess value in my um, I guess my career growth and, and growing the sugar mama brand so that will be how I rustle up some cash tonight I have some exciting manifesting news I decided probably about mm, six months ago or even nine months ago that I was going to write another book I just decided it it was gonna happen and there were no buts about it since late November early December I've been driving people up the wall driving penguin my publisher driving the um, management um, look after the sugar mama brand saying let's get this book organized let's get it written let's get it like all the contracts the terms and conditions agreed let's get a timeline done I've been like a bit of a pest chasing people calling people emailing people texting people saying like where are we up to with this? We need to get it rolling. Anyway, finally, they came back with their the contract. It's all being documented and prepared. And I have just manifested in March a second book deal. So I'm so excited about this. Um, I've already started writing it. I've already started brainstorming additional ideas and um, talking about how the layout's going to be. Um, it's going to really complement the thousand dollar project but um, it's going to have like a more worldly approach and a lot more strategies and technical information so get prepared for round two um, which will be i think launching this time next year so in the meantime get your money hustling with a thousand dollar project because these two are going to work really well together so pretty exciting news to announce Yay.